Hey guys, welcome back on Techno Vibes. This is Sachin, and I hope you guys are doing great. Guys, there is no doubt that Linux is one of the most powerful operating systems so far. We all know that there are many distributions available in the market for Linux, such as Red Hat, Ubuntu, CentOS, and many more. As Linux is open source, therefore it's been backed up by a massive team of developers who work all together for enhancing various features and services in Linux. When it comes to choosing a Linux distribution, there are many options available in the market. At times, it becomes difficult for the user to decide which distribution should be chosen. In today's discussion, we will try to differentiate or compare between two such famous distributions of Linux which are CentOS and Ubuntu. So with that being said, let's get started with it. Guys, we all know that CentOS and Ubuntu, these are the two most popular operating systems, two most popular uh, Linux distributions available in the market. The most common thing between both of them is that they are very powerful. Also, they can be used in servers. All right, so we will try to find out few things with which we can identify that how we can differentiate between these two, how we can compare between these two distributions or if required, which distribution can we choose. So with that being said, let's get started with this. The very first things which we will be looking after is the design and documentation. Guys, CentOS can be considered as exact clone of a uh, paid version of uh, RHEL, that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is mostly preferred for enterprise environment. The only difference is the brand and logo is removed. So you can think of it as a Red Hat Enterprise Linux edition, but without a brand and logo. Whereas Ubuntu is based on Debian architecture, which is currently used in desktop servers, smartphones and tablets. It was launched by a company based in UK called Canonical Limited. So you can think of it now that CentOS was developed by RHEL, but it is not exactly the paid version. This was the free product which was introduced, which was released by Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay, now the second part is that when it comes to system requirement, CentOS has less system requirement as compared to Ubuntu. For example, older versions of CentOS like uh, CentOS 5, CentOS, uh, CentOS 6, they require a memory size between uh, 128 to 512 MB for the command line interface or a graphical interface to run properly along with a um, minimum of around uh, 10 GB of hard disk space 8 to 10 GB you can say but when it comes to the latest version that is CentOS 7 which I was uh, which I am actually also using it requires at least 1 GB of RAM 1 GB of memory size you can say which is preferred for it along with 10 GB of hard disk space on the other hand when it comes to Ubuntu, the minimum requirement is of 2 GB memory along with at least 25 GB hard disk space. So it's clear that when it comes to comparison between the two Ubuntu, between the two, Ubuntu has higher system requirement than CentOS. Also, when it comes to documentation, CentOS has got a smaller community of developers as uh, compared with Ubuntu whereas Ubuntu has its own architecture like I said that it is developed on it is based on Debian architecture the team of developers is high due to open source in nature high number of users and uh, developers the documentation and tutorial size are larger all right so let's get move to the next part which is discussing about the stability, security and performance. Let's talk about performance first. 
Linux is a very powerful operating system in the market right now. So doesn't matter if it is CentOS or Ubuntu, the performance is awesome, incredible performance. The only factor that can or that may affect the performance of these two operating systems is the hardware. The better the hardware is, the better the performance will be. Now, CentOS is free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and is maintained by community and is well known for its security and stability and is commonly used in enterprise environments. All right. CentOS is free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux and is maintained by community. CentOS is well known for its security and stability and is most commonly used in enterprise environments. One big reason behind why it is more secure and stable than Ubuntu is because of its release cycle. By release cycle, I mean the upgrades which are available in the market. You can say in every 2-3 years, CentOS provide you with some sort of upgrade. Another important point is that each CentOS is maintained for at least 7 to 10 years. Therefore, you do not have to worry about any major upgrade anytime soon. This is the reason it is considered as the most stable and secure. On the other hand, if we talk about Ubuntu, if we talk about the release cycle of Ubuntu, it is more frequent as compared to CentOS. You can say that every in uh, four, five months or six months, you will be getting a new upgrade of your Ubuntu OS. So due to much frequent updates and so many features can lead to instability in few cases. And at that point of time, greater support is required. However, it is incredibly powerful and versatile when it comes to performance like i said that it is both both of the operating systems are uh, unbeatable so when it comes to performance both are unbeatable and a lot depends on hardware as well the better the hardware is the better the performance would be due to infrequent updates in centos it tends to be more stable and secure like i said earlier as compared to ubuntu however Due to frequent updates in Ubuntu, Ubuntu is richer in features than CentOS. I think that this might have given you a brief idea about that how you can differentiate between the stability, security and performance. I think that this might have given you a brief idea about that how you can differentiate between the stability, security and performance. As compared to performance, performance would be perfect on both of them depends upon the hardware <clears throat> when it comes to stability and security CentOS has got an upper hand so with that being said let's discuss about the software managers that how do you install the applications or packages inside it so as you already know now that both the operating systems, both the distributions are based on entirely different architecture. Both have different package managers for software management. Uh, let's say that in, uh, so for software management in CentOS, you can use ZM and RPM. And all the distributions based on Debian, that is like Ubuntu has a standard package management system called advanced package tool which is also known as APT and most important part is the repository the software repository the software repository of Ubuntu is much higher than CentOS software repository in Ubuntu contains more than 40,000 applications however in CentOS that amount is that count is uh, uh, as compared to Ubuntu it's it's quite less CentOS has got a limited software repositories you can enable other repositories uh, to use them but they will still be lesser than Ubuntu both have third-party repositories right few points uh, I'll just uh, give you a one line on that that Ubuntu doesn't have cPanel support whereas CentOS does 
Also, when we talk about the learning curve, sent to us is a bit difficult to understand as compared to Ubuntu. But if you have used any of, that is my personal experience, that if you have used any of the Linux distributions, you can easily learn if, uh, whether it is CentOS or whether it is Ubuntu. You just have to take care of certain commands which might be different. Ubuntu is geared more towards the desktop users. So if you are a normal user, if you have a personal computer, you can think of it that I can use Ubuntu in my home PC. It is said to us is more towards the server market and is preferred by large corporations. So when it comes to enterprises, you can think of is uh, you can think of it that CentOS has got an upper hand. Why they prefer it? Just because of these features, like it's very stable and secure. Ubuntu, on the other hand, it's less secure and stable as compared to CentOS. Like I, we differentiated between the design and architecture of Ubuntu and CentOS. CentOS has got less hardware requirement as compared to Ubuntu. Software manager, that makes a difference. Where Ubuntu has got large amount of, a big amount of uh, software applications as compared to CentOS. When it comes to hosting, cPanel support is not there in Ubuntu, but it is with CentOS. And if we talk about the user base, it's when it comes to understanding the CentOS or Ubuntu, if you are a new user, CentOS would be a bit difficult than Ubuntu just because of the less am the small amount of user base and documentations or tutorials available in the market. But for Ubuntu, you will find ample amount of information. And the last but not the least, Ubuntu is geared more towards the desktop users, whereas CentOS is more towards the server market and preferred by large corporations. I hope that these differences might have given you a good idea that how you can decide whether which operating system, which Linux distribution is better, whether it is CentOS or Ubuntu. In my opinion, it's entirely up to you. Because of the frequent updates in Ubuntu, you can think of it that there will be applications, there will be features which are more up to date as compared to CentOS. But like I said that you can choose any of them. Performance is awesome. I have worked on both of them. So guys, if you think that you want to go for CentOS, Ubuntu, please do let me know in the comment section that which one would you prefer after, after watching this video. So guys, uh, do let me know in the comment section that which one would you prefer as a Linux distribution, CentOS or Ubuntu. Do let me know in, that com in the comment section. And also, if you find this video is helpful to you, do like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can be notified about my next upload. So, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next upload.